Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create this effect which is a dashed line and you have the solid line. So two different lines that you need to show let's say actual versus budget, actual versus goal, goals that you are having, things like those right. So in that case you may want to show with a slightly different effect as to what your second line represent compared to your normal line. So this is how your business as usual this is basically let's say your forecast your goal or whatever it can be. So this is a uh, lot of time it is used in, in the business just to indicate that this is how it should look like or this is how it should be but this is how your actual value is going on. So that is why this line has an impact. And many times if you are working, let's say transforming any report which is having this line, you may be figuring out like what, what do I really need to do to get this line? Is it something I need to create a measure or what? So I'll show you uh, with the configuration that are available within Power BI how you can do that. Okay, before that just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel then you should know that I keep all of my Power BI related videos in this uh, Google Sheet where I have the title of the video and the link of YouTube video is present in column B as you can see. Like these people which are using this file you can come uh, use this file from the link which is present in description and very easily utilize all of my previously created videos. Also at the top I have if you need an advanced dashboard training you can reach out to me and ask me more about it. Okay so with that let me just come over here and show you how you can do that. So first thing first is uh, what I'll do is let me just delete this and create it from the scratch so that you can easily follow this. So for that I will create a line chart right and uh, what do I have is in the data. The data is link is also present in description. When you go to that link there will be a folder uh, for Power BI in the Power BI folder the super store sales will be present for Power BI. Okay so what do I need is the order month uh, which I will put it on x axis. I will take profit and I will take sales and I'll remove this day. Uh, let's just keep the quarter. If I need to fully expand that what I can do is I can fully expand like this. Okay so profit and profit no profit and sales. Okay so I have sales I have profit right similar type of chart that's how usually you would end up with when you have two different values right let's say actual forecast, actual goal, whatever it can be. So now coming to the format your visual that's where most of the work is there. You will see a section called lines, right? In the lines you have the option series. Make sure you select a particular line on which you want to apply. In this case I want to apply it on the profit. As you can see profit is like this, okay? So you have profit selected. What is the line style? Here you have the line style. Right now it is solid but you can change it to dashed. So now it is changed to dashed. What is the join type over here is three different join type but you will not find a lot of change because it does not really you know give a lot of impact on that at least I don't find it. Then what do I have is this three which I can keep it increase or decrease as you can see but as I increase more it basically make it a solid line. So I think a 3 is good or I don't know maybe 2 where you want to keep it a very thin line just you know as a representation or indication perspective uh, between a comparison between two lines you can do that okay. Now also you can change a color as well. Let's say this is sales and for a profit you want a different color which you generally you want a neutral color in this case right. You can keep it like a dark gray maybe this one right. That way you can always compare this. So this is how the business is happening. This is how your planned or forecast or whatever it can you can say. In this case it is profit. So that is what I wanted to show you very quickly how you can get the most out of your line chart and make it professional looking in your uh, business scenario. Okay. With that thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.